Hi everyone, my name is Thelma Mehta, and today I'm going to review the movie Crimson Peak. Crimson Peak is a very, very pretty movie. It's the first thing I'm going to say. It's very, just pretty. The set is incredible, all the sets. I love the way they look, and the effects are also really, really well done. Uh, all the ghosts that you've seen, you know, you've seen them in the trailers, they look really, really, I don't know what's the word, uh, just, they stand out against the set pieces, so it's very vibrant, that's the word, vibrant. They're very vibrant and in your face, so they, they pop against the backdrop of this, you know, 1800s, 19, like early 1900s Victorian house, which, okay, not Victorian, but it look, they look really, really good. And the set, all the dresses, every, everything about this movie is really, really, really good in visuals. The directing is also really, really good. The actors all do really, really well. Tom Hiddleston is really good. Jessica Chastain, really interesting character. Uh, I don't know her name, but the, the main actress, who the only thing I'd seen her in before is Alice in Wonderland. That was not a very good movie, and she was really bad in that one. She performs admirably here. Not spectacular by any means, but she's, she's good. She's uh, interesting enough to follow, pretty good at solving the mystery of the movie, and is not, you know, annoying. You don't want to see her just be killed or just to, like, you know, stop inflicting her presence on this movie. You actually want her to succeed. So that's a very good thing. Um, I don't like the story of this movie. Not that it's particularly bad. Uh, I'm not gonna go into it to try and avoid spoilers, but it's just not what I was expecting, especially considering how the trail what the trailers look like. Uh, but I can kind of see where they were going. I don't know if this is true or not, but it, it reminds me of a very... It reminds me of another movie a lot, and if that's what they were trying to do, maybe. Um, the movie it reminds me a lot of... Uh, I'm just going to say it. Like I said, spoiler. I guess minor spoiler. That probably is going to ruin the movie. But the movie reminds me a lot of is The Shining. Uh, once it get, gets past the first half. The, basically, the first half, you have this great, like, ghost story, and, like, all the ghosts are there, and it seems like it's gonna be all about this supernatural side and all that stuff, and then it goes, in the last half hour, it goes shining. And that really disappointed me. I didn't, I just, uh, you have such a great setting for this, this, you know, old, decrepit house that is literally is on top of a clay, it's on a clay mine, like the whole property is clay and it's red clay, and even when they introduce the house, they're like, oh, the, the house is sitting on the clay mine and it's occasionally sinking, so if the floor creaks and you start seeing red ooze come out of the floor, that's the clay, don't worry about it. Or if the pipes run red at first, that's because the clay is in the pipes. Like, you have all this stuff that, like, you could just say, oh, it's all clay, but then screw it, and then start doing blood, and, like, you had that perfect set piece, and they don't use it at all. Even the clay scenes, there is one scene, one scene, where the clay, like the house being surrounded by clay, is even used, and it's just so disappointing. I mean, I went into, I, I went to this movie, I don't watch horror movies, I don't, I, most of my things, like, I'm just, I'm really scared of horror movies, and I don't like, I think I've seen, the only horror movie I can think of off the top of my head that I've seen is Cloverfield, I haven't even watched The Shining, I know about it, but I haven't watched it. But I was, my brother wanted to see it, and he was like, oh, this is gonna be, this looks really good. And I was like, go, just get, start seeing a good horror movie for first. I was like, okay, maybe I'll see it. And it just, it wasn't scary at all, like, at all. The ghosts in the beginning, they look really good, and they're unnerving, you know, they kind of creep you out and stuff, but it's not scary. 
and even you know in the second half when it goes shining and that that kind of that twist comes like it's creepy uh i guess like and it's interesting like how the how the character goes around like uh i guess since i already went in spoilers uh, jessica chastain and tom hiddleston uh the, the twist starts coming out like when you find out they're an incestuous couple uh, but then Jessica Chastain just like goes off the deep end and she it's it's like you just see her going around with a knife like chasing our lead actress and and like stabbing Tom Hiddleston like that stuff is it's cool and it's kind of creepy like she's got the whole crazy eyes when she's doing it and just chasing her. and even when they have the ending fight scene with them outside in the snow and her, you just see like focused on the main character and you see Jessica just, just like scurrying about in the background it's like Pfft. like it's, it was kind of ridiculous just seeing, seeing her do that like she turned into like part part wraith like just flying around but it was it wasn't scary maybe maybe I was just too disappointed at that point because it wasn't the horror movie and stuff but uh actually I wasn't disappointed at the time when I watched the movie I was perfectly happy. The whole time, I was, uh, I wasn't scared, but I was entertained. I wasn't, and uh, when I was watching the movie, it was all, yeah, this is cool, interesting. At no point did I, I stop and say, like, this is a bad movie while I was watching it. But as soon as I got out of the theater and started thinking about the story and the, just the ideas behind the main characters, uh, uh, just little by little, I found little annoyances that just kept snowballing into this pain in the ass that just made me really dislike this movie. It's not a bad movie. I don't think it is. It's just really disappointing to me for the, just the waste that it could have been. And it's just the more I thought about it, this movie, the more I think about it, the less I like it, and that's mainly just because the one thing is the story. I do not like the story. The narrative of this movie is just a waste. That's that's, that's basically what I feel about this movie. All this stuff, like for the narrative, is just it's just a waste. You have this beautiful set piece and all these ideas for like I was exp I was expecting like this to be like you know the house is sort of, like, this ancestral burial ground, or, like, not a burial ground, sorry, this, but, like, the house has its own kind of possession, and it's just, it's bringing back all these dead ghosts, and the two characters, uh, Tom and Jessica Chastain, are, like, either immortal or, like, demons, and they're going to feed off of her, like, sacrifice her, and, like, all these ideas that could have come from ghosts and blood, like, there's so much more that could have been done than what was, and that disappointment just lingers the more I think about this movie. But, as I said, other than that disappointment, everything else works other than the narrative for me. But like I said, the sets, the effects, the, the dresses, the costumes, that is all very, very pretty and really, really nice to look at. And the actors all do great jobs. The story just doesn't work for me. So, on that, I would say it's it's an okay movie. Um, honestly, I wouldn't recommend seeing it in theaters. I mean, it was pretty, but may, maybe, I guess, maybe a matinee. Not full price. Like, if you can see it and it's like five, six bucks, yeah, it's, it's, it's very nice and it'll look good on the big screen and you know, I'm, it'll look, I'm sure if you have a big enough TV, it'll look great on Netflix, but considering the other movies that are out right now, it's just not, if you're only going to see one movie, I wouldn't recommend Crimson Peak. I would probably recommend, if you haven't seen it, like, The Martian, or maybe, like, hell, what I had planned to see before is, like, it was just like, maybe I should have seen The Walk. Like, it's a good movie, just not the best compared to what's out right now in my opinion. Sorry. Thank you for watching.